If you have a brand and want to promote your business organically in collaboration with influencers on social media, watch to the very end. I'll guide you through the process of analyzing influencers to determine whether they're a good fit for you and your business before even working with them. What's up bosses? I'm Tarleen Raman Figueroa, your personal brand consultant at Boss Diplomat, making you look so good you can't be ignored. Yeah, and that's why you're here. Woo! Now, before I show you the steps on how to work with influencers and what to look out for, just a disclaimer, I love working with influencers because they are real people. You're not paying these celebrities to endorse your product. You're actually working with people who really care about your brand, who are a good fit, who have the right mindset, and there's no hidden agenda other than the fact that you've approached them personally and you've said hey I love everything that you're doing and I think my brand aligns with what you share on social media I love your content I've been a follower for a while and I want us to collaborate and I think we'll be a good fit together that's already really flattering right when somebody actually approaches you and say hey I love everything that you do I'm fangirling oh my goodness this is so awesome and actually showing an interest in what they have to share to the world because don't forget influencers also have an agenda. Their agenda is to grow their brand on social media. It's really difficult to come up with those organic content. I mean, imagine yourself in your own business and how many like mini decisions that you have to make every single day. When you think about all of the things that you have to decide at the end of the day, you might have a massive and very heavy cloud under you and you're like, oh my goodness, there's so much for me to do and I've made all of these decisions. Eventually, you're gonna have decision fatigue. Now with content creators, that's the same thing. They are responsible for coming up with new content on a daily basis. And as a business owner, you've now given them the opportunity to say, hey, let me take a little bit of this burden off you and come up with a mini series that you and I can work on together, not alone, because you already have the same values and the same mindset. Hey, that partnership is perfect. And on top of that, you are exchanging something in return. So you are exchanging a service or a good for this influencer to try out for free. You're not asking them to pay you and you're not offering to pay them. This is a mutual exchange of services. And what they offer you in return is an honest review. So you have to make sure that your product or your service is damn good before you even approach this strategy. And usually I get my clients to do this influencer marketing right at the end when their business brand is about to launch or just before they launch so that they're getting good feedback, good kudos and positive testimonials for what they're about to offer and showcase. So make sure that your brand is up to scratch before you even attempt to content influencers because you are going to shoot yourself in the foot if you are approaching them with a very weak brand. If you don't know what I'm talking about, definitely have a free mini brand session and I can tell you whether your brand is up to scratch or not for this step. Okay, so the influencer's job is to, you know, test out your service, sample your product. They will provide their audience with, hey, I just tested out Boss Diplomat Brand Power Hour and oh my God, let me tell you how amazing this was for my brand and how much I learned from Tarleen and how amazing she is and blah, 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 blah. That's what the influencer's job is, is to give their audience a new look into a new product or a new service that they have tested out themselves. And then they can analyze and extrapolate information you have no control over the things that they're going to say. You may get oversight and a little bit of a clue on what the final review is going to be, but this is where the trust is, right? You, you can't control what they're going to say about your product or your business, but the whole goal of this collaboration with the influencer is you're matching your brand with an influencer to share similarities with you. And then of course, once the influencer has posted this review on their stories on Instagram, this gives you the opportunity to reshare to your audience as well. And the whole point, the end goal, but at least one of the end goal for you collaborating with this influencer is to get more followers and eventually more leads and eventually turn those leads into 
sales. You want to get more people to buy into your services, right? You want new leads into your business, right? And what better way to do that is through an influencer who already has an established audience that is already warm. They, are, they want to hear more from these influencers. They want more stories. They want more insights. So you're actually not doing any of the heavy lifting. They are. They've already done the heavy lifting and you're piggybacking off their success and off their audience. So there are many types of influencers that you can target. Um, and let me break this down to you really easily. So there's five types of influencers. The first one is nano influencers. These are individuals who have like a thousand to 10,000 followers on social media. This is the target that you want. You want to go after nano influencers with less than 10,000 followers because they are least likely to ask you to pay them for this service. As a solopreneur, of course, what you bring into your business means everything in regards to how much you make in your business. We want to treat this as a like a mutual trade as opposed to you buying their service so that they can try you out for free. The next tier is the micro influencers. So micro influencers have 10,000 to 100,000 followers. Now these people are going to want some dineros. They're going to want some money for this collaboration. We want to try to avoid micro influencers for this specific purpose. And then we move on to mid-tier influencers. These are influencers who have 100,000 to 500,000 followers. Definitely avoid them. They will definitely want money. If you have some marketing spend in your business to be able to do that, then absolutely go for it. The fourth type of influencers is the macro influencers. So these are individuals with over 500,000 followers. And then the big shebang, the big fellas in the influencer world are the mega influencers. Of course, mega influencers have a million plus followers. Uh, these are definitely celebrities or people who will want some sort of exchange for the service that they provide. So just to recap, go after nano influencers who have a thousand to 10,000 followers, but not all influencers are created equally. And I want to show you what to look out for when you are looking for influencers to collaborate for your small business. Let's imagine I'm working with a fitness apparel company and I want to get them matched with three types of influencers. We're going to look for personal trainers, athletes, and body positivity coaches for the purposes of helping this fitness apparel get their products seen by people on social media. So when I do influencer marketing with my social media clients, I actually use an app to find my influencers. But just for the sake of this, I guess, tutorial, I'm going to show you using just Instagram itself. So my first target audience is personal trainers, Andrea Claire Fit. So you can see she has 18.6 thousand followers which actually puts her as a micro influencer we do not want to target anyone with more than 10,000 followers but let's see how legitimate they are so I'm going to click on the followers okay this is a fake account because a lot of fake accounts have the same photos so this is a really well done fake account but if you click on when they posted this August 8 August 8 August 8, that's fake. So already her first follower is fake. Her second follower also has 15. We don't need to click through all of these. Just hover over the top, 15 followers, 15. Oh, this person might be real, 66 posts, 24 posts. Okay, this is looking a little bit more legit. Let me scroll down a little bit more. So what you wanna do is determine whether their followers are real because if you have an influencer who claimed to have 18,000 followers, but the majority of them are fake, what good is that going to do for you? You're basically promoting your product and your services to fake people. Um, so it's, it is tricky to know whether an account is real or not, just based on this, because this this person has a mixed bag of real and fake, which a lot of influencers do, but just be mindful of this. Next is, um, where are they based? So this person seems to be based around Texas and surrounding areas. I want to check out what they are doing actually for themselves. If they're selling equipment, that could actually be good for my fitness apparel company because um, this individual actually sells 
um, or promote those type of goods on her social media. So that is good. So what we can do with this individual is, hey, I noticed that you have really awesome videos where you're you're active in your content. I wonder if you'd be interested in uh, me sending you some fitness apparel that we have in stock. Please check out my social media to see what I'm talking about because that's the social proof to show that you are a real business and not a lot of those uh, brand ambassador spammers. And let her know, I would love for you to, to model my fitness apparel in your videos. So this could be a really good one. Okie dokie. So this person, damn, she's ripped. Goodness me. Go girl. But their engagement is super low, actually. They have no captions, uh, you know, a decent like count. Um, 911 followers so that that is in the ballpark of what you should be aiming for but the engagement rate could be a lot better for this individual considering look at the results goodness go girl peaches yo um but the engagement rate is low so this is actually not a good fit this is a micro influencer not quite a nano influencer but um oh gosh i don't know there's a lot of fakies out here and I can't I can't even see any more than this. Hmm. All right, let's have a look at his post and engagement right now. So, um, OK, it looks like his top three pin post has over 11,000 followers. This can be bought. He's got 88 comments on just this one post so the engagement rate is very good here people are talking to him commenting on what he's offering on social media so that is a very good sign same with this one too so he does have a lot of people actually engaging with his topic so this could be a really good influencer to um, connect and communicate with because there is real life conversations happening in every single one of his posts so that is a good sign my friend okay so this is a good size nano influencer with close to 3,000 followers and um, by millie.faith so again we're going to open up the followers and see whether these people are real or not um Okay, so these followers do look legitimate. We do have one or two suspicious accounts following following her. I don't know who her is because her does not have a name on this account. Talk about branding. Seriously, use your name or even your business name. So this person actually does have a legitimate following. So that's great. So inspiring you to turn your dreams into reality. Hybrid coach. I don't know what hybrid coach means, but let's see what her engagement rate is like so she does have good engagement there's a good respectable likes and comments on each of her posts so she could actually be a really good nano influencer to to work with with regards to this fitness apparel company so here's another thing to look out for where are they based and do you actually want that individual where are they based and are they your target audience because if they're based outside of your geographical audience they might not be the right fit for you so this individual is based in israel from what she said um be your own heroine 60,000 followers so not quite nano um and let's see if she has real people following her so far so good even these one accounts they might be legitimate because their account is set to private 60,000 followers and there's not a lot of people with even 15 posts it's less than two or three so i'm a little suspicious amazing engagement rate she has between 37 to 100 comments per post so she is super active very engaged on social media she has a ton of comments so this influencer could be a really good one for a fitness apparel company so there you have it this was a short rundown on how to look out for influencers to match with your brand and get your business in front of these nano influencers who can really boost your business brand on social media if you need any sort of help with how to get your brand seen be visible and boost your brand credibility get a free mini brand session with me Tarleen get some Tarleen time in there let me check out 
about your brand. Let me see what I can find just by looking at your business brand without having touched it myself. I cannot wait to see you in my calendar. Let's get you visible solopreneurs and let's get money coming into your business. Whoop, whoop, whoop. See you next time.